too much help sometimes doesn't help. To me, sometimes it even bothers me. So, what do I mean by that? Yeah, there is a special function called settings guide. So, you go to your marketplace, you go to a settings guide, to the plugin settings guide, you install it. And what happens then? You have it right here. Over time, and now is the point that I want to make, over time, it kind of bothers me because, you know, you, 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 you know what you are doing here if you have uh, practiced a little bit with Cura, but always this window from the settings guide will pop up here and it will um, steal a little bit of my picture of my site here. So I don't want to have it. I just wanted to have the settings guide in the special case when I need it. You go to settings guide preferences and you uncheck this box here. Show articles and settings tooltips. So you uncheck this. So I have to close and reopen Cura first. That's what I'm going to do. So my gecko is reopened again in Cura. So and now when I'm hovering here, you see the settings guide help disappeared. What we see here, this is the original Cura inbuilt help. That's short, that's without pictures, without any further explanations. Okay, but this one is always there. So the great thing is now I'm hovering here and I have a special question. Oh, what is this? The direction here. And I press my right button, my right mouse button, open the settings guide. And here it will open a big large windows for the settings guide. It shows us where we are here right now. I have a question concerning of that line direction and it will give me a very deep explanation of what's going on. And even further, even more, I have a little preview animation here that will show us how it works. Isn't that great? So I love it because now nothing is disturbing me except this little inbuilt Cura help here. Um, but the settings guide appears only if I press the right and open it and I have questions to it. So I love it. If you like the small tooltip, leave me a like. I'm happy about it. See you next time.